some ways of displaying audio frequencies spectrum. We could use, for instance, a computer soundboard, but the configuration sometimes is complex. And I must confess this is not my thing. Or a SDR spectrum analyzer, for instance, the signal hound USB SA44B, which starts with 1 Hz, but I don't have one. Or a low cost digital oscilloscope with FFT capability, but sometimes they don't have the desired resolution. Another way is using a low-cost conventional spectrum analyzer, but they normally have a high start frequency, 9 kilohertz for instance, or a special homemade device, as the one I will show here, that works with a conventional spectrum analyzer. For the tests, I will be using this waveform generator here. Initially programmed to output two independent tones, uh, combining channel one, as shown in this schematic here. The first tone is one uh, kilohertz, and the second tone is uh, 1.2 kilohertz, or uh, 200 Hz apart. The level is 0 dBm. For this very first test, I'm using this entry-level instrument, the Kisai DSOX1102G. It has a maximum frequency of 100 MHz. And I set the FFD dis display for a span of 2 kHz, and the center frequency is 1 kilohertz and so the the difference between vertical lines is uh, 200 hertz uh, unfortunately this instrument can't show the the level in dbm but we can see clearly the two tones on the display now i will reduce the difference between tones to 100 hertz so the second tone is now 1.1 kilohertz. And we can see that the scope starts to struggle to show the two tones. Reducing 50 hertz more. You can see that we just can measure the tones anymore. Now I am using another uh, oscilloscope. In this case is the DSO 5032A from Agilent. Maximum frequency is 300 megahertz. It's an old instrument but very capable. And again the FFT display was set to a span of 2 kilohertz and center frequency of 1 kilohertz. With this instrument, we can measure uh, both level in dBm and frequency. Here we can see the uh, Y1 is 0 dBm and the X1 is 1 kilohertz and X2 1.2 kilohertz. So let me uh, reduce the difference between tones to 100 hertz. Again, the instrument is struggling to see, to show the two tones. And I, if I reduce even more to 50 hertz, we can see that the same limitation appears. Then I decided to develop another solution, uh, trying to avoid the problems found with the oscilloscopes FFT and also 
with the soundboards. If we move the audio frequencies up in the frequency spectrum, we could analyze them using an ordinary spectrum analyzer. In this case, I am translating the audio frequencies 10 MHz up using a balanced mixer. The local oscillator here is derived from my 10 MHz low phase noise reference source. You can of course use other components adapting the solution to the parts you have in your junk box. Here is the local oscillator input, in my case it's plus 2 dBm and I have here a 17 dB pad and an amplifier, the MAR6 to adapt this level to the local oscillator level of the AD1 which is plus 7 dBm the AD1 is a level 7 mixer here is the audio input notice that I am using the IF port and uh, here there is another pad and another amplifier so I will have here at the output the same level I have here at the input Here is the assembled board. This is the local oscillator input. This is the attenuator and the amplifier. This other input here is the audio input. Here is the mixer. The RF port we have another attenuator and another amplifier. By the way, the power input is plus 5 volts DC. And here is the assembled device. At the local oscillator we have 10 MHz plus 2 dBm. Low phase noise coming from my rubidium time base. And here at the IF port we have the audio tones and at the output we have the same audio tones translated uh, 10 MHz above this port is connected to my spectral analyzer let's start with the same two tones uh, 1 uh, kilohertz and 1.2 kilohertz but now the level is minus 20 dBm. This is the first tone and this is the second tone. And here are the two tones on the spectrum analyzer. I set a frequency offset of minus 10 MHz so the display is showing the correct uh, tone frequencies. The span is 500 Hz or 50 Hz per division. The first tone is 1 kHz, the second tone, tone is 1.2 kHz and the level of the tones is minus 20 dBm, exactly the level uh, programmed in the waveform generator. The RBW here was set to 10 Hz 
most low cost spec analyzers nowadays offer this possibility and now I will reduce the frequency of the second ton and let's see what happens let's reduce to 100 Hz so the tone can be easily seen and now 50 Hz and again it's uh, the two tones are very uh, clear on the display let me pick the marker of the second tone again 50 Hz difference and minus 20 dBm now if you are lucky to have a spectrum analyzer where you can set uh, RBW of 1 Hz then we will be able to see tones 5 Hz apart or even less as I'm gonna show right now let me change the second tone all right and then the RBW 1 Hertz span 50 Hertz here you go and then the marker let me pick the marker of the second tone as you see here 5 Hertz apart and for this last test let's set the first tone to 5 Hertz and the second tone to 10 Hertz and the level is still minus 20 dBm for both tones and let's see what's happening on the spec analyzer the resolution bandwidth RBW is still 1 Hz and again the display shows clearly the two tones 5 Hz minus 20 dBm, 10 Hz minus 20 dBm. Well, that's all I had. Thanks for watching.